Hey guys, welcome back to the Jays with Them podcast. I'm your host, Jay, and today we're going to be previewing week 14 of the NFL. Kicks off tomorrow, Sunday, December 10th. Uh, a lot of important matchups division wise that we got to talk about Chiefs and Bills. Well, they're not in the same division, but you know, still important game. Uh, the Eagles and Cowboys, Bucks, Falcons, uh, a lot of important games, you know, as far as playoff seating is concerned. So we'll talk about that. And um, yeah. That'll pretty much be today's episode. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Join the Jays with Down family. We'd love to have you. We're continuing to grow our audience and our fan base each and every day, each and every week. And we would love for you guys to be a part of that. And, um, you know, for all your football needs, you know, we're here throughout the NFL season, the offseason, the college football, the, and the playoffs in college football. We're going to have coverage of that as well. Continued coverage of that and yeah, everything you need to know. So. You know, please join us here. So moving on that note, uh, first off, I want to talk about, well, before we get to Eagles and, and Cowboys, the uh, Bucks and Falcons. This is a very important divisional game within the NFC South. The Falcons currently lead the South at 6-6, six and six, but they, if they lose on Sunday, uh, they'll drop to 6-7, and seven, and Tampa Bay will drop, they will move to 6-7. and seven. They're currently 5-7 and seven right now. If they were to win tomorrow, then they would, have the tiebreaker with Atlanta because the Falcons beat them earlier in the year, uh, but they could still have a chance to, to take the lead in the division. So it's an important game for both teams. The Bucs already said they're treating it like a playoff game. Much of the players said that. Chris Godwin, I'm sure he's mad. You know, his wife is mad. He's not getting a lot of touches. And so he's going to probably gonna play pissed off tomorrow. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure the Bucs are going to come out playing hard and fast, but Atlanta's going to match that level of intensity uh, offensively. I, uh, offensively, the, the Atlanta really should be able to move the ball. Uh, they did it last time they played Tampa Bay. The defense didn't have much answers for what we were doing. Uh, it's just Desmond Ritter has got to keep the ball uh, in our possession. He can't turn it over. We really should have blew him out last time if it weren't for all those fumbles. And uh, you know, and he probably think he threw a pick as well. So we can't have that. Um, Atlanta can't turn the ball over, especially when you're missing a lot of key players in your defense. David Onyemata is hurt. He's not going to play. Uh, AJ Terrell is questionable. He had a, he was in concussion protocol, but he practiced in full pads the other day. Uh, so that was a oh, Friday. Yeah, he practiced in full pads yesterday. So Arthur Smith said he's he's progressing along. We'll see what happens. Um, you know when they name the final injury report tomorrow before the game, but uh, they could really use him out there. Um, Mike Hughes also questionable to play as well. So Atlanta is going to be missing some key. Players in their uh, secondary, uh, their defense, Nate Landman, is also out for the Falcons. So they're going to need uh, their offense to really step up and, and, and score with the Bucs, uh, you know, because defensively we're only missing uh, a lot of key players. So they're going to need to um, step up. But like I say just run the football. Run the football. Do what you've been doing. Don't do what you did against the Jets. Uh, but run the football. Uh, you know, just keep everything, you know, keep the play calling. Not conservative, but keep it smart, simple for Desmond Ritter, simple completions to London and Pitts. You know, uh, that's what I'm looking for the Falcons to do at home. Get Cordero Patterson involved. He's been getting involved lately, the last couple of games since he got back from his injuries. Um, you know, and seeing the you know, seeing the field in different ways, you know, where they got him in, in the backfield or out wide or, you know, whatever. You know, Patterson still at his age is He's tough to bring down. He will run you over. So I'm looking forward to Atlanta to do that. Uh, you know, so again, if the Falcons were to win this game, uh, they would move to um, seven and six on the year. You know, so it'd be at 500 or above 500 rather, and it would be a very important uh, division lead for them. So uh, that is something I'm looking forward to there. And then moving on to, to the next note, uh, Chiefs and Bills. This is a big game because uh, the Chiefs have not looked good recently. Um, they've struggled. I don't know what's, what's going on with them. You know, maybe it's the fact that they don't have a lot of reliable receivers, pass catchers. Uh, other than Travis Kelsey and when Taylor Swift is not there, he's not playing really well. Uh, even when she is there, you know, the Chiefs lose. They lost to the Packers uh, if she was at the game. But this isn't a Taylor Swift podcast. This is an NFL podcast, or this is a football podcast, so we're not going to talk about Taylor Swift. Uh, but, you know, uh, hopefully for Chiefs fans, she'll be at the game. Uh, so 
maybe Travis Kelsey will play really good. Maybe the whole team will play good when they see her there. Uh, but it, this is an important game. Uh, if the Chiefs don't win this game, they'll move. Uh, if, if Kansas City cannot win this game, uh, they will move. I'm trying to find their record here. Um, currently, one second, guys. Yeah, they're eight and four. So yeah, they will move to eight and five. Um, just continuing to drop down in the playoff seating and the AFC seating, and Buffalo will move to seven and six, keeping their playoff hopes alive. Uh, you know, so this is an important game for both of these teams. Really big game. Like I'm, I'm really interested to see what the Chiefs are going to do. Like if Isaiah, Isaiah Pacheco is going, he's not going to play. He's out with a shoulder injury, so that's a huge loss right there for for Kansas City. You're not having your starting running back and Pacheco. He runs hard. He's physical. Uh, he he can catch up the backfield and not having him in your lineup is going to hurt. So the Chiefs really are going to be in a bit of a bind here. Four starters they rolled out like against the Bills, um, not just Pacheco. Uh, they're going to be missing a few guys. Um, so it's it's going to be important. Um, you know, Brian Cook, their safety, he's hurt. Donovan Smith, the left tackle, he's not going to be playing. And Drew Tranquil, their starting linebacker, will not be playing either. So, yeah, uh, Chiefs are going to have to really work. Uh, and the Bills are not going to, you know, they're trying to win. They're trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. They're, they're not going you know, to just hand Kansas City this game. So it's, it's, this is going to be a huge matchup right here, uh, 425 Eastern time, the uh, game of the day, CBS. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens, man. I, I, I My pick is uh, I have – I'm going to have Buffalo taking this upset win here. I think the Bills are going to come in here and get this win. It just seems like a good time for it right now. The way the Chiefs are sputtering, uh, they're kind of going downhill at the moment. Uh, and I think it's a perfect opportunity for Buff for the Bills to take advantage and, and get the win here. Um, so hopefully they take advantage for their sakes. But if not, uh, yeah, you know, Chiefs also need a win to get themselves back on their horse, get, get back to Kansas City football. So we're going to see what happens there. Um, but, I mean, when you don't have, you know, when your receivers just aren't being consistent and they're not playing how they should be playing, you're not going to get much production, and that's just what's going to happen, you know. Uh, and there's only so much a quarterback can do when his receivers are not contributing. So with Patrick Mahomes, he hasn't had his best season um, this year, but you know, you also look at his his pass catchers. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but moving on to our next big game of the night, Sunday Night Football. Everybody's been talking about this game, the Eagles and the Cowboys. Uh, you know. After the Eagles took that loss in San Francisco, I'm looking for them to bounce back here against Dallas. This is now this game really could go either way. I mean, I'm I think the Cowboys do have a chance to win this game here. Dak Prescott has has been he's played probably his best season so far yet as far as statistically. Uh, he's 26 and six with t- 26 touchdowns, six interceptions on the year uh, so far. So he's been playing decently. Uh, better than he has been playing the past couple years during the season. Uh, and this is a very big game. Now, granted, I'm still one of those people that I'm, I'm still um, skeptical of the Cowboys until the playoffs, you know, um, you know, because of their performance in the playoffs. They don't play good in the playoffs. Um, but this is a huge game for them and, and the division. So if they don't win, then um, it's going to be tough for them to continue to tread throughout the NFC East. And for the Eagles to win, uh, they, yeah, they'll, they'll continue to hold on their lead of the NFC East. If they don't win, it's not horrible. It's not, a, it's not, the world isn't over for them, but they need to get this win. You know, if you lose to San Francisco and you lose to Dallas, it doesn't look good for you, for the Eagles. Like, you know, these are playoff teams, well, the Cowboys are supposed to be, playoff team that, that you're playing against. So if you lose these back-to-back games against supposedly playoff teams, that doesn't look good for you. And then you have to address yourself as a franchise, as a team, like, hey, what, what's going on with us? Why aren't we playing to the level that we you know we can play at? And it's just not going to help, you know. Uh, so very, very important um, matchup there on Sunday Night Football. Uh, but I, my pick is I'm going to go with the Eagles here on the road. I think they are going to bounce back. I don't think they're going to have two bad games in a row like that, allowing 40-something points to the 49ers. I don't think they do that against Dallas this week on Sunday. I don't think they do that tomorrow. 
Uh, I think they're going to bounce back and have a better game plan offensively, get more a little bit more consistent defensively. They need to be able to stop the pass, um, get home to the quarterback. I'm looking for them to come back here and get this win. Close win, I'm calling like, um, I'll say 35 to 30, uh, Philadelphia. It's my prediction. Um, and I may be completely wrong. It might be a slow scoring game. You know, it could be more points than that. Who knows? But it's going to be a very interesting matchup, to say the least. Um, so, you know, I'm looking really looking forward to that. I mean, those are pretty much my main predictions there for the big games as far as seeding-wise, playoff-wise, you know. Uh, but also you have uh, matchups there like the Colts and the Bengals. And this is – these two games – this game is important for, for Indianapolis because they – if they want to win – if they won't even have a shot at making the playoffs, they're going to have to win this game. They're going to continue to get better in the AFC South. The Bengals um, are, you know, they're 6-6 six and six right now. Jake Browning, I mean, he had a good game against yet Jacksonville the other night. So can he continue that against his Colts defense, against his Colts team? That's 7-5 and five right now. Uh, we'll see. Um, Gardner Minshew, he's been playing well for the Colts. I've been impressed so far. I mean, he's had his moments, but he's been playing well for the most part filling in for Anthony Richardson. Um, so very, very important game here for the Colts and Bengals. Uh, and Jonathan Taylor's not going to play. He's been ruled out. Uh, so Indianapolis is going to be without their star running back. Uh, so that's going to be uh, a bit of a, a a bit of a tread for them. Um, but, you know, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I, I Honestly, you know, the – a lot of these teams are these games to uh, tomorrow are really important as far as uh, seeding right now for the playoffs and these teams need to get the upper leg in their divisions, uh, a lot of them. So these are going to be very important games for them. Uh, Seahawks and 49ers, are a prime example. Um, you know, Seattle. I don't think they're going to win this game, but you know, because they just can't put it together a full game any any week at all. It's always something. Uh, so you know. And I think the 49ers are going to continue to win here and keep their tread going right now on this winning streak and uh, bounce back uh, as they've been doing. So those are my week 14 main predictions for main big games, main divisional matchups here. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Follow us here. on Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on IG, Twitter. Um, you know We're on TikTok as well. So make sure you check us out there, and we'll see you next time.